just say Ryan Farker and let you just talk away with it. <coughs> yeah, well, we've done a wee deal with Ryan. Obviously, it's 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 fairly late in the day that we've done that deal, and it's 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 covering other events at the moment. It would be yeah. There's a possibility it could end up covering the Northwest 200. We we need to have a bit of a chat, Mervyn and I, to see where we are with everything. People would be very excited about that, I would think. I, th- I hope so. I mean, it's it's something that's kind of it's sort of snowballed. Ryan and I started talking before Christmas about about Ryan purchasing his own super stock bike to run with his with his own personal sponsors, and we sort of facilitated that and got him a bit of support through BMW UK, and um, it kind of went from there really. And in the back of my mind, there was a we thought at the time that if we did need a rider, maybe Ryan might be the man. And little did I know, we, the same thought was in his mind at the same time. There's still an outside chance that I'll be riding a, a Tyco. Uh, Superbike replacing uh, the world famous Gay Martin, so uh, that deal hasn't been done. But you know, with a bit of luck, you know it has been done, set in uh, place for the Isle of Man TT. But with a bit of luck, I'll, I'll be able to sort that out for the Northwest 200, and it'll be valuable track time. And uh, I know with the condition or the the, the level of fitness, fitness I have at the minute, you know, I should be in a position to be competitive in that bike if that works out. If that eagerness and, and passion that he showed was f- fairly motivating for me because it would have been easy to think, you know, Ryan's kind of semi-retired and all those different things, but you know what, I've seen as much motivation and passion from Ryan as I've seen from somebody, you know, starting out, and that was that was nice to see.